Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just gives you a good vibe or something you truly need to hear today, you know, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. I'll be greatly appreciated. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And sending so much love, upliftment, you know, calmness, peace, whatever you're needing right now. Especially this is a holiday, so happy holidays, whoever celebrates that. And, um, you know, as always, thank you, you know, for watching my videos. And also support anybody who is sending, you know, low vibration, nefarious vibes, whatever. You know, hey, everything is divinely protected, heavily, heavily loved, and strongly guided. So, whatever you're pushing on me is going 20 million times back. But anyways, I was like, as soon as I, I was deciding which uh, content I wanted to do today, uh, and it was just like a commercial came on and got me all up in my feels, you know, it was just like, yeah, this, you know, when we go through life, and it's, this video is uh, talking about, um, oh, let me pause, hold on just a second, y'all. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Um, it's called Stepping Out on Faith, Seeing Your Life uh, with a Different Perspective. I was watching this commercial, and it had Lizzo, uh and Beyonce and all them in it. And it just showed a lot of people that like said, oh, I quit my job, you know, I tried a different hair color, I cut all my hair off and did all this, or, you know, I moved to a different, you know, uh, country, you know, without friends or any help. And it's just like, there's so many people that are, you know, you, you know, quitting their jobs and stuff like that. And, you know, going out and being our own boss, you know, doing different things that, you know, is calling you to be able to do. And these are the different things to step in, you know, stepping out on faith. You know, if God is trying to guide you towards something different, you know, you have a job that you really are not happy at. You know, like I've said before, when you have to take like different substances to get through work or, you know, you have to be so standoffish because it's like drama at your job. You know, this is, is all kind of signs is telling you this is not for you. I've been at jobs like that where, you know, I can keep to myself or whatever, but then it was just like, you know, um, I, I had different co-workers that I called call friends, you know, thought they were. And it would be different times where I seen it was just a use or, you know, I was using something, you know, to cloak what, what you doing one thing to be able to do another. And then when I step back, you know, when you couldn't be, I couldn't be that person that you can use no more. You know, all of a sudden stuff started hitting the fan, you know, all my business got out there and so forth and so forth. But it's like when I look at different things like that in my life, it was unfolding. Even though it was unfolding, it was so hurtful. But these were just clear signs that, you know. These things are unfolding like that for a reason. You know, there'll be different times you may be at a job and you're constantly, it's like you're always finding yourself in, in odds with your coworkers, with your boss. You know, you're getting written up. You know, they're saying you're being insubordinate or, you know, you'll see that certain people can get off on certain things and it's just like they ain't got to really work and it'll be one day that you want to just slack off and you're just that hard work and all of a sudden they, they, they pay attention to that. It'll be different things where it's showing you do things that makes you happy you know it may not you know skyrocket off you know um right off the bat but these are the different things that are allowing you to step out on faith you know these different things is going to make you you know make you feel like this is not something you've got to force yourself to do and it's like yeah we need money to you know pay our bills you know take care of our children you know be you know, have keep a roof over our heads and stuff like that, you know, but these are the different things that's showing you really about a part of yourself you, you didn't know that was there. You know, I was saying that in my video yesterday about that. You know, there's different parts of your life you're starting to acknowledge within yourself. You know, don't do things because this is what your family wanted you to do. It's like, oh, okay, we're, we're you know, there, there's this lineages of doctors and lawyers and stuff like that. And you maybe you want to be a dentist. You know, it'll be something like that. Or, you, you know, you want to be a movie producer or something like that. And it was just like, no, you know, this and this and that. You're, you're stepping out what you want to do. Just because it's like you got a whole lineage of these people. There's something in this life that's wanting you to do something different. You know, do something that you enjoy. Something that makes you not feel like it's a, a, a chore or it's forced for you to do. You know, um, being able to do something that 
you know, it can make a lifestyle out of, you know, it's just like, you know, this is not a career or a job or whatever like that. When you're doing something you really love, like even when you're, you're off moments, you're still thinking about what you can bring to the table, like, oh, okay, I'm ready to do this, I'm ready to do that. And you having that chance to be able to make something of your life. And it's just like when you're doing something that really gives you peace, really gives your life true meaning, you know, because there are many jobs that I did, you know, when I first started, you know, I was so excited and stuff like that because I'm stepping out and doing different things. And, you know, and it was just like after I've been there for a while, I say, like, oh, you know, how do you like the job? And I'm like, it's a job. You know, it'll be something like that where it pays the bills or whatever. But then when, you you know, that excitement is gone and, you know, you start being there and you start seeing it's like, oh, okay, this is not something I already see that I ain't going to be here too long. Just the way I see, you know, things ain't what it was when I first started. Now you're really starting to feel out what, what this is. And I tried out so many different things. And this is the only thing that I really stuck to that, you know, I really love doing, you know, because it's just like when I'm using this, it's not just to help myself. It's just being able to help other people. And I've really been able to meet all walks of life, you know, doing this. And I really loved it. You know, there's some people that I still stay in connections with and some I don't, and, you know, and I don't regret none of it. You know, it had to be at that point, even when I had, you know, negative stuff that was going on, I had to get out my feelings. And it's just like not everybody that you're going to come in contact with is not going to be staying there like that. It's just a lot of times it's just a touch and go. You know, you're helping that person as they're helping you. There's some part of their self that they needed somebody to trigger that. And, you know, and it's not saying trigger that is in a negative situation, but it's like, you know, a lot of times when people, you know, they meet me when they come from here, it's like a, a, a you know, a loved one that passed on to God them towards that it's like you know this person is needing this and I'm needing them for different things it's like we're all student teachers of something that we're learning something of a new with ourselves you know really trying to understand that you know and it's hard to be able to step out on faith because this is something you can't see you can't touch it is something that you're being guided to feel believe knowing that this is something I can create something something so beautiful that when I can sit back and say, you know, if I want to tell my, you know, my future children or my grandchildren, it's like, yeah, I went through all this stuff. And it was just based off of a trauma, you know, that I never really knew about myself. But I always knew there was some part of myself that wasn't being truthful or there was a part of myself that, you know, I knew that was hidden from me for a certain reason. And when I found that out, you know, it, it put me in a, in a bind or put me in some kind of tra traumatizing vibration that it, it sparked something that I created something very beautiful for that and it was just something I had to keep going at it because you know it's just like so many different things that happens you know I've had you know one-on-one -on -one talks with people you know not going into detail to that because they know I don't tell that but it, it's just like you know they're like Raj you know I, I want to be able to do this I want to be able to do that and there's always something that's stopping me and it's just like you have to understand and you know if it's in your gut that's telling you to do that you know, if it's guiding you to be able to do this, you're going to have certain things that's going to be testing you at a moment of resistance. It's going to be testing you at a moment of your faith of, you know, if, if God told me to go this way or universe has told me to go this way, why do I got to have something that always want to challenge that? Like they want me to second guess myself because they, it's just the fact is when you know you're stumbling on something very beautiful in your life, something is really going to make a mark that, that really a lot of people can really learn off of when it comes to you and whatever trade that you're being, you know, guided it towards you you know it's the devil doesn't want you doing that they won't the, the devil wants us to be all at, at odds with each other always want us to be you know hating each other because of the, the color of our skin or the sexual orientation that we have or you know where you know how much money we got in the bank or their walks of life or what gender we choose to go by you know it's always something it's just like we're all people learning about ourselves wanting to be comfortable in our own skin and being accepted is that you know, as long as I'm not hurting anybody, hurting any children, pets, or whatever, accept me for who I am. You know, not judging me because of the color of my skin or, you know, if I want to change my, my gender or whatever. Just accept me as being a person. You know, and there's we, we have to deal with that through life, day to day. You know, we're having all these different, you know, meanings of life or whatever. And we can grow from it. Because there's so many different things it takes. You know, it really makes you step back and you're just trying to understand, you know, what do I want in my life? What it, what makes me mean? What it makes it meaningful to me? You know, I see different people that they're really happy at what they do and I can't really find mine yet. You're finding yourself. You know, you're really finding yourself, you know, and it took me like, you know, shoot, I've been at this for seven, you know, almost close to seven years. And, you know, it, it's like I'm 45 
and it really took me a lot to do you know I got friends that work for production companies or they're in the military or you know they're nurses doctors you know or own their own restaurants so with me I'm, I'm a youtuber I'm a content creator I'm a podcaster you know different stuff like that and I love what I do you know being able just to share that stuff with people is not you know just helping me it can help somebody else too and you know it makes me feel good there will be a lot of times I get emails and text messages and, and DMs where you know there's somebody telling me Rosalyn you know your videos really has helped me or your podcast has really really made me understand myself in a different way and I mean it'll be pulling at my heartstrings and it allows me to know this is your purpose when you know you can you can get that and you know it'll be certain times I can go back and watch my videos and I'll just cry you know and it's just like I'm so proud of myself you know because it, 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 it'd be at that point where you know I want to be able to talk about different things other than talking about you know what my family has done to me or you know what my karmic has done and all that stuff I want to talk about the things that are going to help me grow that stimulates my growth that you know makes me stand stronger in my faith and the, the stuff that I believe in when it comes to myself and the universe is what I'm guided to do you know be able to help other people being able to heal forgive the things that has tried to you know hurt you harm you you know take you out whatever and being able to say this gave me a pur purpose to be able to say you know what I'm gonna do better by this time you know if God is protecting me universe is protecting me and guiding me towards that you know let me stay focused on that you know not you know being all towards distractions and stuff like that if God is guiding you or universe is guiding you to speak on those different things that you have gone through in life then you go do that you know and though everything everybody has a meaning into your life on the part of the, you know you're wanting to grow you're trying to make something better out of your life there's gonna be a lot of times there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna you know support you but there'll be a lot of people that are gonna be you know dry hating it on you as well you know throwing all kind of salt in the game so up here you know giving you a sour push face while they're sitting back watching what you're doing and it's okay it is okay but it'll be the main type of people don't know and actually, at that same time, they're actually admiring you. Even though they might throw shade and hate on you, they're admiring you because no matter what they placed on you, no matter what they did to you, makes you want to second guess yourself, you still, you know, blocked out the noise and you stay focused on what you're believing. You know, you're not bringing all that, you know, riffraff in or where you're, you're allowing yourself to second guess yourself or, you're, you know, you're allowing yourself to be in that fear vibration, you know, of what other people have said that you can't do this or, you know, that's going to take too long or, you know just putting you know breathing fear and doubt all into what you're trying to manifest into your life and you're being able to see in my life this is what am I supposed to do this or you know I'm guiding to be able to do it because it could be something that you you know it maybe didn't really spark your interest but you don't know just you being on that and um on that venture to be able to create something like that you may stumble up on something else that really you know stimulated your thought process like oh wow I was supposed to be doing this you know I was supposed to be podcasting this you know I'm still up here you know doing this I, I was thought I was gonna do it by myself but then they, I had people that I constantly talked to on my podcast or whatever or you bringing other people in you know and it on that same vibe as you and it, it's just like you starting to get you know you, you starting to get a lot of people listening to you like man you know such and such has a podcast now and it's like they really be talking about some stuff that really you know this really you know vibes with what I'm going through or really un makes me understand that there's people out here that's dealing with the same situation as me because I always tell people you don't know how your situation can really be inspiring to other people to inspire themselves you're that you, you you know you don't know what what you whatever you're doing can really do that it's just like made me think about jay sheeting he used to be a monk <laughs> you know out of all things and now he's doing all these different things where he you know uh him and darman and um all them they, they make these you know those uh like short stories and stuff like that people go through and it's like everyday things like yeah you can really it triggers off on something that you know you have, you can really relate to and then he brings other people into you know his podcast and when they talk about different stuff about growth about healing you know what brought them to this what made them you know want to you know stay on this vibration and you just don't know it you give somebody else the, that chance to believe in themselves so it was like when I was looking at that commercial it, it got me in my feelings because it was like people like I'm finally doing it you know and they're they're recording it because everything is a lot of it everything that people are doing right now not everything but a lot of it is being posted on you know social media TikTok, you know snapchat um 
what else you know uh instagram you know youtube yeah a lot of people are filming their journeys in life and you just don't know how you can give somebody that chance it's like man if they're doing it i'm stepping out on you know i'm stepping out even though i'm fearing i don't know what i'm doing because it's like it's scary but it can be like an adrenaline rush at the same time of um really stepping out and just really seeing that because it's like this is coming into the year 2023 you know you there'll be certain things like you can't keep you know focusing on the same things that held you back before or holding yourself in in that vibration of being angry because of certain things that just didn't work out right for you or who betrayed you now it's just like okay you know past all that you know getting away from all that what am i what am i to my core what do i see myself doing in the next two to five years do, do i write these different things down am i organizing myself do i know what i really want to do am i really stepping out and giving myself that chance to blossom because a lot of times these things fell apart in your life just to find out who the core of you are you know what you really acknowledging yourself about who you are towards that self with all, all that 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 distraction that was in your life you know it probably led you towards something better you know if you had people in your life that you were supporting that didn't support you and you had to be able to go off on your own because a lot of times when we go on these different journeys you're going sometimes you don't have to be on that journey alone i mean it's a blessing you know if you got somebody that's you know believing in you and they're like babe you know i believe in you or you got a best friend or you got family members that's like yeah you know what do you need you know it, do you know what you're going to do you know just really giving you that chance was like hey whatever you're doing i'll support that and you know you know if you need it you know that's why it's just a lot of times when i love talking to y'all one-on-one and you you know you feeling something it, there's a lot of y'all that i talked to and i felt that you know and they were like my husband you don't you don't breathe doubt into my life no i don't I, I know what that feels like where people you know will feel some kind of way and then try to send me in the wrong direction they didn't want to do anything or they wanted to know what i was doing so they can go ahead and breathe destruction into that to make sure they blocked every blessing i was heading towards so i know what that feels like so it's just like when you tell me okay i got a project i'm really wanting to do i'm like okay you know what is it you know i can help you out you know give you some kind of insight to be able to do that and just be able to really put it out there because i know what it felt like for people to always try to stand in my way of that or they mock me for it or laughed at me and made me want to doubt myself so it was like i never want that to be pushed out on on somebody doing something because i know what that felt like when it was coming to me and just being a part of that growth into your life you know you're stepping back this is at that time where okay you see where life is really taking you you don't went through a whole lot of things now it says that time where you're branching off and being to yourself there's a lot of people who are feeling on feeling like they're on that they're on that that edge of the cliff like you're going through that cliffhanger effect where either guy's going to push you and he's going to carry you all the way down or he's going to show you how to fly because i had to get you away from a lot of those people i had to you know take certain things away from you because you were holding on too tight to things that was really going to hold you back or i had to get you away from people that had that same mindset as you and they were low-key hating on you or they were low-key trying to destroy every daggone thing that you had in your life or these people around you really wasn't you know happy for you or supporting you you know he sees the more you know he uh, a lot of times you'll hear those different things you know god removed people in, in, in your, out of your life because you didn't see the moves they were making behind you that was going against you. you didn't hear the words that they were saying the moves they were making you know against you you know so a lot of times they take people out your life or it'll be certain times that you may not even want to talk to certain people at times like that and it'll be okay that that expired you know that vibration is expired or this is that that time where okay you got people wanting to check on you and stuff like that and you're in that moment of where i'm in solitude you know when i get back you know i'll go ahead and connect with them you know but right now i'm just on me right now i'm, I'm just trying to focus on me because there's a lot of us right now that are in solitude you know i do my little videos you know at times and you know share my little you know post that i used to do you know i used to do that every day but it's just like at that times i draw back you know it's not really nothing going on but it's just times i need for myself you know and just being able to do that and it'll be different things that, you know, they're telling you, move in silence, you know, keep your things to yourself, you know, um, don't, don't allow, you know, don't be so, you know, wanting to be, oh, I got this going on and I had it and you won't got it in a full concrete yet. And it'll be different energy or just breathe all into that to make sure it don't happen because they see you got that potential. They see you got that light to really make something very powerful of yourself. So a lot of times it's like, no, just keep that to yourself, you know, go ahead and do all this, but, you know, keep it to yourself. Because when you get that gut feeling like, oh, should I be talking about that? Or, you you know, you could be a person that really are strong 
will by talking and all of a sudden you start stumbling up on your words. That's telling you, it's like your vibe is like, nah, I don't tell that to them. They don't want to see you grow. They because they, they, they see what you got going on and they see that you be that one and make it. They'll be trying to tell you, oh, you can't do this or, you know, trying to breathe fear into it. But low key, they're just like, they're, they're scared that you're going to actually do something and, and rock it, you know, off of that. So this is that time. Step out on faith. You know, you know, you've been telling the same story for the last two or three years. Now it's time for you to write a whole new script. Trash that other stuff and write a whole new script. So I hope you were able to resonate with that. You know, like I told y'all last time, you know, um, uh, I was guided to start doing this, you know, adding that twerk. So I'm like, hey, I don't do my tarot card readings anymore. You know, and they're just like, you know, d just do it a certain way for this. So it's just like, you know, do it three or five card spread, you know, and being... Uh, being able to pick different cards okay be able to t take different cards that's going on oh okay want me to take six out this time if you pick this card it's time for you to retreat you know but you've been doing a lot of work putting a lot of work in you've been doing a lot of things you've been doing a lot of clearing and you've been you know working 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 non-stop working working non-stop so this is the, the time for you to really, you know, take time for yourself. You know, if you're tired and stuff like that, you've been going at it strong. And then, you know, the universe, your ancestors, the people that truly believe in you are so, 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 so proud of you. So this is at a time. Retreat. Take this time out for your, you know, for yourself. You probably hear, you know, on your, you know, if you've been getting a lot of downloads, you know, um, certain numbers, you know, if you see six four six, at times that's rest. You know, seven two two, that's rest. You know, um, koalas, rest. You know, those are the different things. Rest and rejuvenate. So this is the, the time. You know, take that break. You know, break for yourself. Go out in nature. Meditate. You know, do this alone time. You know, do what you need to do to be able to, you know, really be able to get your stuff going. Because you you really starting to, you know, you're putting in for it. And they see that. The universe really sees that and they're so proud of you. So this is the, the time. You need to go ahead and rest. Okay. You pick this one. Okay. Because you got all these. You know, whatever you're doing, this one's new love. You know, you've been working hard on yourself. You've been staying single. You know, even though it may be hard, you know, for yourself. But these are the different things that you're working on yourself. You're seeing what your old, you know, old past love, love life, you know, the do's and the don'ts. And you learn from those different things. These are like the cheat sheets, you know, what not to do and what to do, what, what to stay focused on, what to stay back in. You know, be very committed towards yourself, towards that. You know, you're clearing your life out or whatever you're doing what you need to do and love is coming in for you pick this one this is healing you've been doing a lot of that you know it's been hard you know you're going through a lot of different things into your life and it hasn't been easy for you you know you've been you've been stepping out you know like i said stepping out on faith you you've been going through a lot of this you don't know where it's leading you to and it hasn't healing is not easy he going to pull up a whole bunch of emotions, you know, a whole bunch of them. It was like mine. Mine is just like very emotional, but it's not even like a depressed emotional, but it's, you're going through these changes in your life. And a lot of times you don't, you, you be, I can't wait until I can finally heal from certain things that really, you know, make my heart heavy, you know, really make me focus on the things that I could not change. These things happen for me to happen to me to help me grow. And, you know, and a lot of times, you know, that's the tool, you know, for growth and you, you're getting that. And so, congratulations to that. And if you pick the next card, come in new beginnings. You know, you've been feeling that. You know, a lot of new beginnings is coming in. You know, I mean, I even feel like it's happening. But it's happening. You don't know what's going on behind the, you know, BTS, behind the scenes. You know, 444, you've been seeing that a lot. 555, 1010, you know, going through all those different things that is taking you through your life where you're seeing the new beginnings in your life you're really stepping out you're really branching out you know even though if you don't know where you're going you're still giving yourself that chance the universe sees that you know they, they whispering in your ear you got this you know you got all these new beginnings that's coming in you know you've been going minor step back step back step back you know things being blocked things being delayed these are the different things you've been working on it you've been holding your faith in steady you know you've been keeping to yourself for yourself you know and really really been trying to move through it the best way you can you got new beginnings on it so you don't have faith in that and you got you know friendship is the next one you you've been having a lot of different things where you may have been by yourself a lot 
or you've been haven't been able to keep friends into your life probably have love life you know been going through that too but you have a new friendship that's manifesting behind the scenes you know you got somebody you might you may, may be having somebody in your life that that you really see that you can talk to this is a person that you know wants to support you in every way possible you know this is a person that you can really count on as they can count on you everything that you're doing it will be reciprocated and this will be that friend that's about to come in when you least expect it. it'll be somebody that is really you're really needing in your life you know even it, it can even be within the new love of healing you know basically all the cards is attached to you may be going through all of these different things at this point in time and you'll have somebody that is really on that vibe on the same vibe as you and everything is being reciprocated or even more and that's something you've really been needing in your life and the last card you've been going through if it has been spiritual growth you've been going through a lot of ups and downs a lot of upheavals you know you've been going through a lot of things and it, it really been testing you it could have been with your money it could have been with your surroundings you know your you know a lot of different things you've been going through a spiritual growth and you've been really taking it like a real g okay and these are the different things that the universe is so proud of you you know you've been going through you, you know you don't probably gonna go head for head with the universe and god and stuff like that and they know whatever we're going through is not easy but you you know you one up and on and I mean you're going through a really powerful growth because instead of you you really looking at what you're lacking you're seeing so much of what you're gaining from that lack that is taking place into your life and these are the things that's like you know you change your mindset you know a lot of times it starts with changing the perspective just like I was talking about changing the perspective changing your mindset on how you see life you know these are the different things I may not understand what's going on in my life but God is doing it you know faith is doing it my, my spiritual growth is doing it my new pathway is doing it you know I'm starting in a whole new year a whole new me you know I want to be able to do that I want to say how to keep that same verbiage that same vibe same frequencies that I had carried on for the last year two three four five you know this is on a new vibe where I'm stepping out you know I'm showing up and showing out for myself I don't have nothing to prove but to myself and you're really deserving of that so if you pick this last card you know and you may and it's just like the way these cards came out though that's crazy because it's like friendship new beginnings healing you know you know new love retreat you know all these different things i feel like a lot of people are like you're you got all this going on and this, i mean it could be every card that you you know i put out like dang i'm going through all that you know and it is you know you you had to be able to go through that rest and retreat when you when you allow yourself to really sit back be by yourself you know really just stay focused not stay focused on all the stuff that you don't have or what's going wrong but just being able to focus on you know with everything going on what's right coming out of it you know and I, I you know i have to be like that with myself you know i don't think all day about the negative stuff that goes on in my life you know what's going on around me what i don't like what i'm tired of whatever but what can i see what can i pull from this that's what God always wants you to be able to, the universe wants you to be able to do that too. What kind of positive perspective can you pull out of what you're constantly going through? Because you're going through a manifestation, you're going through huge transitions, you know, and you're going through trans ascension, you know, like I was saying yesterday. Um, you're going through that wounded warrior, you know, experience into your life and you're really understanding what a warrior is because it's like you're surpassing everything that was sent to destroy you. You know, but this was going to be a beautiful making of yourself. So you're going through all these different things. So, you know, uh, like I said before, I'm going to start doing this towards the end of the video and just, you know, doing a little combo collab for that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Jay, much love to you. Thanks for stopping by. What is it? I forgot you said the game of Lucid. Or I think that's the new name you're using now. But thank you for that. Uh, Dusty Grimes, much love to you. Um, uh, Timberwolf, I hope everything's going good for you. It's like, you know, during the holidays, people are feeling really heavy. Emotions are all over the place. Like I said, I'm more emotional, but it's not depressing. It's just going through that huge change, and you're just seeing yourself going through this rebirth. You're going through a really heavy rebirth right now. And that mess is just hitting you all over the place where people's energy is just clashing, or you just don't want to be bothered, or it's just that even the holidays can really get people in their, you know, in their vibes too, you know, with all that. So, you know, happy holidays. Please be, uh, please be safe um and you know and 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 you know please be safe i don't know, I don't know what else i want to say with that but just be stay responsible and safe for every single thing you do you know um and i hope you have less holidays or whatever but even through social distancing you know please give love light positivity worthwhile frequencies you know those things will really take somebody a long way and um 
you know, I'll, all I say is I keep all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about, you know, spiritual networking, really be on that vibe of understanding, you know, where's my purpose? Where can it be leading me to? You know, I had this and that going on, you know, what connect, con connection towards the life that's leading me to. And, you know, universe, if they want me to be able to help somebody like that, be able to help out as best way as I can, you know, wherever you speak on is confidential, you know, so be able to do that. If you go into my community section, I do have my podcast as well as my posts, different posts that I put there, you know, just for something friendly reminder or just because, you know, or just something that uplifts your day. You know, you're going through a lot and you want to be able to see positive, you know, situations, you know, positive posts that really brightens up your day. You know, you got this, you know, you're going through this, you know, your life ain't going to always be like this forever. It's just a jump start on, you know, change that's coming in that you really deserve, you know, so just being able to do that. And, um, you know, funny stuff, you know, shoot, hey, Oka, you always going to have to have a little ha-ha and -ha, a heavy hee-hee on there. <laughs> so, you know, put in that stuff, too, just to be able to have an uplift, you know, just to be able to have a little giggle in there for yourself. So, um, that as well, you know, if you ever feel, you know, generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well, too. Um, and much love as well. So, namaste, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad. Happy Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa, all that different stuff that's coming in. So, Shalom, I say, peace, much love, God bless, bye.